Hello, uh, hello everybody. Welcome to my seventh webinar. Uh, my name is Ivo. I'm, I'm from the company called Netgen. Uh, we are uh, very well known as easy experts, but uh, going a bit into serious direction as well. Uh, before I start on the topic, I have a few things. So, uh, like I already said, uh, seventh uh, webinar, we covered uh, six uh, topics uh, so far, mostly uh, related to our product layouts and also to things interested, interesting for easy uh, community. And this is uh, th this topic is going a bit. Uh, in a, in, a, in a broader uh, sense, uh, it's not just about easy, it's also uh, it's, it's related to Silius. So I hope there will, there, there will be some people from the Silius community listening as well. Uh, one thing uh, to note, so um, uh, there is a chat option on, on this webinar. So uh, find it and feel free to write in all your questions during the webinar and then I will try to answer those questions at the end. Okay, so let's start. Uh, so, um, about me quickly, I'm co-founder of Netgen, as already mentioned. Uh, we are a web agency in Croatia, roughly 20 employees. We have quite a lot of experience in building complex uh, solutions. Uh, we are using Easy since 2004 and also Symfony since 2013. We also uh, build some technology for other web agencies. Uh, this is mainly uh, something we call NetGen Layouts. So this is a layouting solution which I cover in other webinars. Uh, we also do some other crazy things like the Web Summer Camp every year in Croatia. Uh, it's just been announced for 2018, so you can find some info on, uh, on our blog post and on the website. Uh, okay, so how this story started, uh, Easy and Silius. Let's try to rewind a bit. Uh, well, the thing is that uh, I don't know about your projects, but uh, or your clients, but uh, our clients are quite demanding. So one of the one of the things that we uh, start started to get uh, from clients as as requests in 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 last uh, five to six years is is the is the additional features to content uh, and vice versa so it's like uh, uh, on content projects there is uh, in, in, there is a need for e-commerce features and uh, on on e-commerce uh, projects there is uh, more and more a need to do some content uh, features uh, so uh, this is the, the 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 mix of content and commerce features and of course there is uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, solutions out there and usually if you think about commerce features you you think about let's say Magento or if you think about content you would think about let's say WordPress or, or Drupal or some some features some solutions like that but usually the 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 the, uh, the division of those systems already uh, started many years ago, so it's kind of they separated. So if you think about Magento, you don't think it's a, as as a, it's a, it's a CMS. It's more like an e-commerce. So it might have some CMS uh, features, but it's clearly an e-commerce product. And uh, similar applies to almost all uh, CMS vendors as well. So they might have e-commerce features, but it's not their focus. It, it's not their uh, the main let's say features it's just it's usually an add-on and in that sense you kind of miss maybe some features that uh, are uh, needed in that project because those add-ons are, are not adequate so uh, if you think about our stack i already mentioned we have a lot of experience with easy and we also uh, decided to to try to use Silius. Uh, uh, in, in e-commerce uh, projects because it's obviously the same uh, platform, Symfony. So uh, just quickly for anybody listening from the from Silius or Symfony community, this is a, a CMS open sourced in 1999, so it's quite a long time ago. Uh, it was called Easy Publish back then. 
Uh, it started completely refactoring in 2011, and now the new generation based on Symfony, it's released in 2015. It's now called Easy Platform version one, and uh, version two is already, uh, it's, it's uh, released end of last year, so a month ago. Uh, it, it's still the main feature why we chose uh, Easy long, a long time ago. It's very flexible and customizable content model. That, that's still the, the main driver for Easy. Uh, if we talk about Silius, it's e-commerce based on Symfony, and it was founded by a Polish guy named Pavel. Uh, sorry for the last name, it's still too complicated for me to pronounce it. Um, it has a lot of modern coding standards and uh, uh, ser service-oriented architecture and inversion of control and, and uh, behavior-driven development and stuff like that. So. It's quite uh, good architectured, and the version one was finally released in 2017, uh, in, in, in autumn of 2017. So if we speak about integrating two systems in general, a uh, usual approach would be to integrate it on, on, a, on a, via remote connections, either REST or, or SOAP, so basically HTTP protocols or something like that. And you would treat them as two black boxes and uh, completely independent from each other. Um, but what we have here in, in, in our case, we have Easy and, and, and Silius, which are both Symfony full stack applications. So there is a common denominator for both of these systems. And in, in our case, there's a quite a lot of same things used by both uh, solutions. It's database access templates, uh, service containers, logging events, caching, and, and, and what else not. So a lot of things are actually uh, the same. And so the, the idea was that uh, if we have this, uh, we should try to integrate them in a tight way. So what is a tight way? It's basically if you have two systems that are built on the same framework, uh, that we integrate them on the same application instance. That's what we call the tight integration. Uh, so in 2015, we got a suitable project. We had our, uh, our partner in Silius, uh, uh, an agency called Locastic from Split, uh, involved as well. And we tried to integrate, or the, the first integration was based on uh, Easy published 2014-11 version and Cilius 0.14 and Symfony 2.5 and this really sounds like ancient history right now. Um, but the, the, the effort was, uh, you know, we, we, we put some effort into it and also after the project we consolidated a bit what we learned and we also open sourced that first, uh, that first integration in 2015, mid of 2015. So uh, what was uh, basically uh, open sourced back then, uh, it was a repo, Easy Published Community Silius repo on GitHub. It was a Symfony application with merged Silius and Easy Publish. And there was also additional bundle, uh, which was the, the gluing kind of features between Easy and Silius. I will explain a bit later. So this was what we open sourced in 2015. Well, the things, of course, change. So in the meanwhile, we have the Easy Platform version two. Uh, it was released a month ago. We have Silius version one released a couple of months ago. So it was, uh, there was a lot of changes in the meanwhile. Uh, so we have a new repo. It's Easy Platform dash Silius. Uh, it's, it's the merged applica Symfony application uh, of Easy Platform version two and Silius version one. Uh, uh, the easy published community Silius repo is basically deprecated. We, there is no effort uh, done there because it's quite ancient versions used. Uh, for the gluing bundle, uh, we have the version one tagged, which is used for uh, any other easy published community Silius projects. And we have a master branch for the uh, new repo. Uh, it's it's going to be tagged, uh, but we have still some issues there, so it will be tagged soon, but no exact date is set yet. Uh, it, it can, of course, be composed via Composer, uh, basically by uh, pulling master branch. Uh, so uh, regarding the, uh, the, the older version, 
there's a couple of projects that we did and, and I know a uh, few more projects from, uh, from the community that, that were done with that, uh, with that uh, repo and with that uh, solution. Uh, but it was also very uh, fun, fun to hear uh, just recently that there, uh, there was uh, one more project that uh, we didn't know about and I'm very happy to hear that there, there, is, there, is those, there are those projects done in the wild that we don't know of. Uh, it's, it's great to hear uh, there was someone uh, built something uh, without even checking with us or without... Uh, 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 sending some issues or whatever. Anyway, so uh, a, a bit of about the the bundle, uh, the the glue. We, we call it the glue bundle. Um, it's a field type for linking Silius products inside Easy Platform content objects. That's kind of the the, the, the main feature. There's a couple of more features like user provider or providers and application success handlers or, or these kind of help, helping uh, helper features. Um, so, uh, so what are the main integration points? Uh, let's start with, obviously the first one is the, the composer. Um, there was of course some uh, trouble there at the beginning because it's not just adding one bundle, the, the, the silly and easy are quite big applications. So there were some troubles and some uh, problems to solve, but it was solvable at that point, but then at uh, at some point, uh, Silius 1.0 beta dropped support for Symfony 2, while Easy was not still compatible with Symfony 3. So basically, we have we had like six months of you know complete stop because we didn't we, we couldn't do any, more or less on anything at that moment. But that eventually was uh, overcome by uh, the fact that Easy uh, supported Symfony 3. Uh, the routing, that's another integration point. So Easy uses the, the chain router, uh, Silius uses static route. So basically we, we, we integrated this on, on, on a basic level, just added uh, prefix for all Silius routes. So it's kind of, we are sure that there are no collisions there. Uh, so this works. Uh, we had uh, more trouble with Silius 1.0. Uh, so the, the problem was there's a, a quite a lot of VC breaks uh, coming from zero uh, versions to one dot versions. Uh, so the, 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 the biggest problem we had was actually around user management uh, with, easy, with, sorry, with Cilius 01. Uh, with Cilius 1.x uh, uh, versions, um, we, uh, th there is a change in, in how user management works. Uh, there's basically complete separation between admin and normal users. And that requires you know, two user providers to, uh, everything is more or less duplicated. So we needed to do the authentication authorization basically from scratch on our integration uh, repo. Uh, so talking about authentication, uh, there was the, the old solution, and then we had six, uh, several uh, solutions that we tried out how to do this in, for the new repo, but in the end, at, or at the moment, what we have now is Cilius authentication is used for, for the, for the, for, in the repo, uh, and it used it. Uh, uh, it preloads any connected easy user and injects it in the easy repo and uh, that uh, actually means it's, uh, it, it gets logged in. So uh, what means connected? So uh, there is a uh, additional very, very simple solution. So there is an additional table in a database that actually connects to uh, users, one a user from Easy and one uh, user user from Silius. So, if there is a connection, then this Easy user will be preloaded. And if you log in with the Silius uh, user, and if that Silius user has a connected Easy user, uh, you will basically get authenticated as a user as well. 
therefore, it's not actually possible to log in with easy username anymore. This was possible in previous uh, previous versions, but at the moment, this is not possible, and it's actually not needed because uh, because of this uh, connected uh, feature. I will explain a bit more. So uh, just to uh, wrap this up, so if you think about you know what happens if you install, uh, what we do during the installation is we connect the easy admin user and Silius admin user. Uh, so that if you go to the easy administration uh, interface, you actually log in with the Silius admin user and it will, it will work. Uh, so the connecting related users, what we did, is if you need to connect a couple of more maybe editors or admin users, you can do it via, via script. And there is a script for that where you just uh, you, you manually connect the users. Um, uh, what is, of course, if you have uh, a need to uh, relate more users uh, between Cilius and Easy, you would probably need to do some sort of an event, uh, you know, which is triggered when the Silius user is created or vice versa. In that case, you would need to create that other user and connect it. Uh, this is not implemented, but it could, you basically just need to call what this uh, shell script is doing in, a, uh, in, in some sort of listener or something. Uh, regarding authorization, if possible, uh, try to avoid the need that you need, that you need to authorize both uh, users on both sides. So what, what does that mean? So in case of admins, we, we need that. So that's why we, we connect those admin users. Uh, we connect them during, uh, during installation. So we need the, the, to authorize the admin users of Easy and Cilius. Otherwise, you would not do you, you couldn't do much. But for the normal users, if you have like uh, thousands of users, uh, you would need to either create that uh, event listener and, and do this automatically, or think about it, do you need it? So in, 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 of course, if, if you think about a CMS and e-commerce uh, uh, merged solution, uh, we would say that the authorization is definitely required on on the shop side or on the e-commerce side because the users are uh, going to the basket, registering, uh, checking out uh, and stuff like that. So they need some roles there. They need some rights to do something. It might not be needed on the content side, on the easy, easy platform side, but in, in the case if you need that, it's possible to, to, to do it like I already mentioned. Uh, for example, on our first project that we did with Easy and Cilius, there was no need for uh, the logged in users, the, 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 the external normal uh, users to do anything on the, on the Easy side. So basically they were just existing on the, on the Cilius side. Uh, like I already mentioned, if needed, a post update slash create uh, Cilius event, uh, Cilius user uh, event, uh, should be implemented. Uh, so uh, let's show something. So with all of this, what we actually did uh, manage to do is we, we created one uh, administration interface for both systems. Let me try to switch. Oops. Just a second. Let me share my other screen. Okay, so uh, so this uh, installation here I have. Uh, is a uh, installation uh, which is based on Easy and Silius, but it also has additional uh, 
additional uh, interface that we built. Uh, let me just show you how this this looks. So this is our on 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 the main page. You will see our usual uh, showcase site that we that we show or when we show easy features. So this is uh, easy basically. But on the on the same instance, if we go here, you will see that with the with the shop uh, in the URL, uh, the the additional uh, uh, string in the URL, uh, you will, uh, with this route, you will actually get to a Cilius uh, showcase or showcase site. Um, with, with this, uh, it doesn't look the same because we didn't, uh, we, we, we didn't implement, uh, f let's say we didn't merge the front side yet. So what we would do in this case is, for example, uh, for all Cilius templates, we would not uh, inherit the, the, the page layout of the Cilius demo, but we would uh, uh, inherit the page layout of our easy showcase site. And in that way, it would be very simple to, to make the, the look and feel the same. Uh, regarding the interface, let me just show you how this looks. So this here, this is the NetGen admin UI interface. It's a, some sort of a, a alternative uh, interface for, for easy that we built. It's also open sourced. Uh, it still depends a lot on, on, on old uh, pre-symphony uh, times, but it, it, it's needed in, in our projects. So what we did here uh, is, this is still a symphony app, so uh, basically all easy features are uh, here, and we also added the Cilius e-commerce, uh, the complete interface inside, uh, inside this uh, again, admin UI interface. And this all works because the authentication and authorization works. I'm currently logged in as a Cilius administrator, but like I mentioned before, it's uh, all, I'm also in, uh, logged in as an easy admin user, so I have all the privileges. I have all, uh, all uh, Cilius administration features. Um, I just want to show you as also the field type. So. I think I did this already. So on the uh, on the on on one of the uh, on one of the content objects in in this case article, I added this uh, Cilius product field type, and with this with this object uh, some book, I made a connection or. Let's say I related this uh, Cilius product field type to a real Cilius product, and you can see, you can actually see the, the the content which is coming from Cilius. This is the uh, T-shirt, uh, which is actually this T-shirt here. Let's try to find that T-shirt. So this is that object. So it's it's related. So the the point here is that. Uh, you, if you if you are working from the easy side and you have that uh, ob easy object, you can actually very easily get to all the attributes uh, of of that uh, product which is stored in Cilius. And what you can do is very easily is add, for example, the add to basket button to the to the product full view on easy side, and that will uh, uh, that will uh, uh, that will um, uh, add that product to the basket if someone clicks on that. So th this is very kind of typical Symfony slash Twig uh, development that uh, that is needed in this case. So uh, this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, you would need to try it out yourselves. Uh, just a reminder that uh, if you install the repo, uh, of the easy platform and Cilius repo, what you will get now is uh, the same uh, in Symfony instance, but you would get the easy and uh, Cilius, uh, in, uh, Cilius ad, uh, administration interfaces separated. So in the case, if you need 
uh, uh, this integrated interface, you need to install it additionally. Or what we also plan to do is uh, uh, to integrate, um, let me try to do this, um, to integrate Cilius administration interface inside the default easy installation, but that could be a bit uh, more work. So this is a default easy platform UI version two interface. So it would be great to have Cilius features here as well, but it's, it's a bit different uh, in, in terms of uh, UI. So we, we'll see how, how it will go. Anyway, uh, let's go back to the, to the slides, just a second. Okay. So I always have this slide here. Oops, so great success. That's my typical side. Uh, okay, so trying to conclude here. Um, before starting to use this kind of solution, um, I will, let's say, wrap it up uh, with a couple of very general advices. Obviously, you need to have some or good knowledge about those systems, Easy Platform and Cilius and Symfony. Uh, or try to find someone to help you from the other community. If, if you're coming from EZ, try to find someone on the, in the Cilius uh, community to help you or vice versa. Um, of course, you need to find the appropriate project and I will talk about this in, in, in my next slide. And I would say you need to be a bit brave. Uh, it's not a, you know, a very, very simple thing to do. It, there's some demanding... Uh, learning there you need to cover a lot of ground so it's it's possible um, we proved it we were brave two years ago or three years ago so we did something so uh, tr try to be brave uh, regarding the uh, what kind of projects uh, i would look for uh, for this kind of solution or better be better tell otherwise so if you find a, a a project that could benefit from this kind of uh, solution, I would uh, classify those uh, those projects in two use cases. So one use case is uh, if you have an easy project uh, that requires e-commerce features for content, uh, that would mostly be like uh, some virtual uh, products, like it could be selling content, selling uh, something that actually uh, it's, it's, it doesn't uh, exist in a physical world, uh, some virtual product or whatever. So the, the main point being that you create an object in easy and then you want to sell it. That's the, the, the main use case. So there are two ways how would you, you could do it. Uh, you could extend our Cilius field type for easy and then add additional product attributes. Um, we had actually this kind of uh, feature in the first version two years ago, uh, but the problem was that the, the Cilius, uh, uh, Cilius development towards uh, 1.0 was very kind of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, not secure in terms of there's a lot of changes. And those attributes that we had in two years ago, they were kind of changed on the Cilius side. So we decided to lose all the, the attributes and do, ha do have a very lightweight field type. So it basically just has a, just has a field, uh, the Cilius product ID. But you can, of course, uh, extend it again and add the attributes you need. And then once the, once the field type is persisted, you can very easily persist that uh, data as a Cilius product transparently, and then you manage the data within easy edit form. This is perfectly doable. Uh, the other way or the other solution would be to have a post save event for easy content. So if 
you save uh, if you save a easy content of type product uh, then you create a, a connected product in Silius and connect the those two objects, the Silius product and the easy content object. But then you just have the connection and you actually manage uh, the, the, the Silius product attributes on the Silius side. And I would say that's a recommended way uh, because then you, you don't need to maintain this uh, uh, form or editing of Silius data on the on the easy side. That's I would say uh, a better way. But of course, it would be good to have uh, the, the 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 admin interfaces uh, then merged into one, like I showed. Uh, the other use case is uh, the other use case is uh, if you have products. Uh, that are managed in Silius already. So you are coming from the Silius world. Uh, and uh, you might have them uh, directly managed in Silius or they are in some way imported from uh, a PIM or ERP or whatever. But then you need some content features around those products. Um, in that case, I would say it's, it's straightforward. You add a post-save event for Silius product or Maybe during import, uh, you have some sort of event uh, when the Silius product is created or updated. Uh, you create this easy object with the Silius field type and just connect those two uh, objects again. So it's using the same feature as for the use case one. Uh, but then this easy object is used on the easy side uh, and then you can you know, enrich it with additional content like images or related to some blog posts or you can embed it into rich text uh, fields. At the, what you, you do whatever you usually do uh, with easy content objects because you have an easy object. And that's, I would say, uh, very interesting for, uh, for uh, content, uh, content marketing and, and all those fancy words that uh, marketing people tell recently. So just a few things to keep in mind. Uh, this solution does depend on two roadmaps uh, because we have uh, two big applications um, behind. Actually, it's even three roadmaps because we have an easy roadmap, we have a serious roadmap, and then we also have the, the roadmap of the integration. Uh, you few more things. Uh, for each easy east site access, there needs to be a configuration which Silius user provider to use, admin or regular. This is because of the Silius uh, way of handling those users in the uh, 1.0 1 uh, version. So in, I don't think it's a big issue, you just need to be aware of it. So for the uh, external site accesses, uh, you need to configure the the regular Silius user and for administration set access you need to uh, configure the admin Silius user provider. And well, I already mentioned this, but just to repeat again, for authorization of regular users on both systems, you need to implement this syncing mechanism. Uh, so when the Silius user is created, you, you, need, you would need to create a, a, a a peer object in the in, in the in easy side but that's only if you need to authorize that user on the easy side if that user needs to have some uh, roles or policies for example adding a comment or creating a blog post or something like that if the user is uh, only needed to be authenticated on the easy side then you don't need to do this and uh, the current release of this integration uh, should be treated as beta uh, until further notice. Uh, it's still too early because the both uh, versions that we have now integrated, the Easy Platform version 2 and Silius version 1 are quite new. Uh, so it's, we still need to uh, kind of prove this uh, integration in, in the real projects. And I think that's my last slide. So I think we could we could go to the chat feature and see if there is some questions. 
hopefully uh, this was interesting for you and that you have some questions for me. So shoot. No questions yet. Maybe people are too confused or or I managed to say everything. I will give a few more moments. Yeah, looks like no questions. Okay. Well, you can, of course, reach me on, on these uh, channels on the slide and some other channels on, on Slack as well. Easy Slack, uh, Silius Slack, um, and whatever. Um, if you have any additional questions, please uh, contact us. Or, of course, you can also, also ask questions on the GitHub repos. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, see you probably next month on our next webinar. Stay cool. Bye-bye.